Now to a new twist in that treasure hunt that's captivating thousands, but also putting people at risk to the explore the Rocky Mountains looking for that treasure. Police are now demanding that the author who started it end it. Speaking exclusively to ABC's Clayton Sandell. People are literally dying to find Forrest Fenn's hidden treasure, and this morning New Mexico's top cop wants that to end. I want Mr. Finn to uh, retrieve the treasure or call off the hunt after he retrieves the treasure. The New Mexico art dealer claims he's hidden a chest full of jewels, gold nuggets, and rare coins worth millions somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. All the clues in his 2010 poem. Begin it where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk, put in below the home of Brown. But now a second person has died trying to find it. Paris Wallace found Sunday was a Colorado pastor. He'd searched before with his wife Mitzi, but last week went alone. It was a great way for us to get out in nature, to have some quality time together. It was an escape for us. Ben says one of the points of his treasure hunt is to get people exploring the great outdoors, but he insists the chest is not hidden anywhere dangerous, and if people are putting their lives at risk trying to find it, they're looking in the wrong place. Tens of thousands have joined the quest. Fenn says, I have given a lot of thought about ending the search, but I am not sure what that would accomplish. I get it. I don't have the authority to, to make you do it. But we were there when New Mexico's state police chief called Fenn asking for help and got it. You had talked about uh, giving more clues, uh, providing more clues uh, to help people uh, better find your treasure. Uh, and, and again, I call for you to, to, to pull it. I'm not going to give a clue to help people find the treasure. I'm going to give a clue to try to keep them out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. To make them safer. For authorities, the only reward that matters is keeping every treasure hunter safe. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.